Hi friends, today we are going to talk about purchase order workflow. Okay, purchase order workflow. This is a, like a teaser for what you have. Purchase order workflow is one of the most prominently used workflow across every project. You go to a you go to a project and it uses procurement. Ninety nine percent of the person will use purchase order workflow and one person who doesn't use because they don't really know how it works okay so 99 percent of the time the purchase order workflow that you are going to develop is going to be in a, is going to be in a simple in a process okay where you will have um you have to customize the standard workflow so uh, just to show you what is the standard workflow that we have for purchase order. Okay, so let me see. So I think this two. This is the workflow template. Two zero 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 seventy five. That's the release of purchase order. Okay, and here the design that is there. Ninety percent of the time, it's always customized. So what happens is, you have to use. You have to create your new workflow template and based on the workflow template that you are going to create, you can use some of this component. Okay, so most of the component that you might want to use is like probably how to release it and all those things. Otherwise, everything is custom. So how you will deliver this purchase order workflow? Like in every project you go, so you have for sure you will have a purchase order workflow that you will have to tell you how you will do it. The, the training will cover this and that's very important because for sure in your life if you went through like 30 projects for, for uh, you will have 30 objects that is a purchase order workflow and most of the time it's like 20 days, 30 days of estimate. So by just go, going through this training you will go through this and you will build a wonderful workflow and with that with the same concept you can build the PR workflow also so that's the teaser go through this purchase order workflow training and this is very important and I, I hope it will add values to you because it covers the events it covers the methods it covers the task it covers the testing part which is the most important of workflow and it also covers some of the workflow tables that you are going to use forever Okay, so that's it. Um, I will be very happy if you can go through the training and let me know how you like it. Thank you and have a great day.